This is my Samsung Galaxy Tab E that I recently upgraded to Android 7.1.2 onto Dot OS. This is a massive overhaul from Samsung's TouchWiz, which came with this Tab E at version 4.4.2, I believe, which is on KitKat, I think. Um, completely new startup screen. Just one of the major changes. Um, complete UI overhaul. And the reason I did this upgrade was solely the reason that it provided compatibility for just basic apps. Well, to just name one, eBay. eBay stopped supporting my tablet a few years ago. And then they stopped updating the app because of course it it stopped compatibility and then I kept using it using an old version using it using it for about probably about a year and then all of a sudden it just won't load anything and I thought oh no what am I gonna do so yeah it sounds a bit sad like just updating it for eBay but different apps as well it's just an example uh, um, so I don't know what am I gonna do so what I did I researched how to upgrade my Samsung Galaxy Tab E to a newer Android version and then I just searched in general how do you update a tablet how do you update a phone and then it involved installing ADB which is Android debugging well, making it compatible your laptop. Well, in my case, it's my laptop. Well, I um, loaded the drivers on for it, and um, then after I'd done that, I installed Odin, which is a Samsung firmware flashing facility. And what that does is, I it overrides the um oh god I can't think of a word wait a second the original um I can't think of a word so I'm just going to call it BIOS for now as in room windows uh, the custom BIOS which is locked very locked compared to the Ah, there we go. Recovery, recovery. That's it. The recovery that is TNWRP recovery. Uh, it's a project, and it's compatible with many phones, many tablets. Um, and what what that allows you to do is um, install custom patch uh, packages, which can let you. Uh, when you install the packages, most of the time you're upgrading the OS. Um, but sometimes it can add like Google Apps because on on this on these Android builds, these custom unofficial Android builds, the device is not certified for Google use. So what you have to do is install well put a package and the recovery and flash it on the device which is called open gaps I believe which uh, gives you access to Google Apps on a unofficial custom build of Android and it, it, it works perfectly it just just works perfectly that mode lovely um, Yeah, it's it's a good all round tablet. Um there's a bit more custom there's a lot more customer oh god I can't I can't think of the word. Sorry about the words. Um customizability is that even a word? It must be. Um there's a lot more customizability with uh, a custom OS like Dot OS. You can um right. I like, yeah, 
see what I like is being free to do what I want with this device because it's just so free you've got an open recovery you can load packages from wherever you want which sounds a bit dangerous but I'm, I'm safe <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty smart thinking um, you can install packages from anywhere you can install like customizes of course um, you can customize right weird thing you can customize like battery thing up here where it, you can customize symbol for how the percentage the battery percentage is actually shown to you you can have a battery you can have like a pie chart which I have um, it's just little subtle changes like that customization customization is key with these custom OS's um, it's one big it's one big thing that people look for when they install a custom OS um, it's uh, customizability there we go um, but it's, this is a very good build uh, charging is a little slow but it's an old tablet so what do you expect um, I do notice one problem where uh, where you so put it this way when you turn it fully off so you hold it like that power off yeah it switches all off and um, what happens when you plug it in normally on the touchwiz UI on the touchwiz normal recovery thingy whatever BIOS I don't know, um, it normally shows a battery when you plug the charger in and then it shows you the percentage and it's like it's weird like it's like a cold charge thing on this was um, and then with this is there is a little bug where you plug the charger in it is like a just the backlight come on so you know it's being powered and it's being charged but you just can't see the percentage so you would have to turn on the tablet to check the percentage but that don't bother me after a certain amount of time I know it's charged up really anyway so it doesn't take that long to boot up really anyway um, by today's standards it might but yeah it's it's just giving this tablet a new lease of life really yeah. put it this way you can do a lot of things what you wouldn't have done on normal touch was and the Android version was so old and decrepit that it needed upgrading anyway. My terms. <laughs> Sounds so bad, doesn't it? Um it's it's a good surfing browsing tablet, everyday use. Do not do gaming though because it anything 3D it just looks like a PowerPoint presentation just because of the mediocre specs which this accompanies but anything like eBay, YouTube it's a pleasure to do the limited screen resolution would be a little bit bad for YouTube but it, but it's a big screen. Everyone likes a big screen nowadays, I reckon. So I like this tablet. It's alright. Great. See ya.